Now, to summarize it, what are the purpose? This is attract people to Mayapur. That is the main thing. Where they could be Krishna conscious city of simple living, high thinking, and where the visitors may learn about the Vedic worldview and Krishna consciousness in general. And how is the method for that? Build a big, beautiful temp temple which contains a planetarium showing the universe according to the Srimad Bhagavatam. Now, unfortunately, if you look at much of the propaganda that goes out in social media and other places, there are many secondary purposes which are not mentioned in even one of the letters of Srila Prabhupada that come up. So, challenging the scientists, defeating the scientists, revealing advanced science in the Bhagavatam, spelling the downfall of Western civilization, convincing people of the empirical truth of the fifth canto. Prabhupada doesn't mention even one of these in any of his letters. Now, there might be something which Prabhupada, Prabhupada has talked about challenging the scientists elsewhere, he has talked about, but challenging the scientists, it's usually in terms of life comes from life. That consciousness doesn't come from matter. So, it's like, now devotees may often be well-intentioned, but they take one purpose and transpose it on another context. The purpose of the planetarium was not to challenge or defeat the scientists. The purpose of the planetarium was also not now, now, this doesn't mean that we, sh we can, in certain areas, we can challenge and defeat the scientists. If possible, we can also show the advanced science in the Bhagavatam. But that is not the purpose that Srila Prabhupada wanted for the planetarium. So, why am I saying this? That somehow, in general, sometimes things are made more confrontational than, need, than they need to be. Prabhupada's purpose in having the planetarium was not confrontational. It was more a cultural depiction to attract people. So when we take a confrontational mode, it unnecessarily increases hostilities. So the cosmograph, so if we consider each tradition, or at least our tradition, has something distinctive to present. So from if we want to pers look at it from a scientific perspective, the idea of consciousness having a non-material source, that is a very big field of study now. Consciousness studies is one of the biggest advancing fields in science today. So we have something to present over there. If you go into theology, then the idea of a loving divinity, an all-attractive, all-loving person, Krishna, that is something extraordinary. Other traditions don't have such a vivid and attractive conception of God. So we have our tradition has something significant to provide, uh, either to world science or to world theology. But if we take a confrontational approach with respect to the planetarium, unnecessarily we distract energy. And the purpose was not confrontation, it was more of a cultural depiction as far as Prabhupada's his own statements are concerned.